सब्सक्राइब करें बॉलीवुड न्यूज यूट्यूब चैनल पर और बेल आइकन दबाना ना भूलें टू गेट ऑल द लेटेस्ट गॉसिप्स एंड अपडेट्स ऑन बॉलीवुड hit and uh, now it's season finale so tell us something what's going to uh, be in season 3 and what are you going to um, well it's not season 3 it's season 2 and um it's just the rest of the episodes of season 2 um season 2 brings me all the way until i land here in india and um that's where the story that's where season 2's finale ends is when i when i land here uh to go on the big boss show and um season 2 season 1 talks about my childhood and everything that happened as a child or a young adult teenager and all the decisions that i made up until that point and then season 2 goes into you know my family my mother and father both pass away and i get married um <laughs> that all happens all back to back craziness and um it goes through how our decision making went into um coming here to india so there's a there's a lot of different stuff happening in the show okay how many memories did you recollect did you know when while shooting or like what the sort things when you were going on um well the whole thing is one big memory because all the stories are real um all the stories that i told they were real stories um and that was extremely important to me that real what happened in my life is actually what we show um of course maybe a setting is different you know we weren't in a restaurant maybe we were in a house or you know whatever it was but the core base of that story is what gets told Okay so you start in your own biopic so how difficult was it to comprehend and how difficult it was to manage and convince yourself or um well i wasn't keen on making a biopic of my life um except when uh, the production house and daniel they both, they all came to me and said this is what we want to do and this is how we want to pictureize it and what i liked was the idea that they wanted to get into family life and family dynamic and you know fun quirky little things that happened growing up that you know people don't get to see you know in a in a film that's maybe 2 hours or 2 and a half hours because we were doing a series we could really get into a lot of different details of you know my childhood and certain things that you know maybe we all go through them i don't think that a lot of the situations that happened growing up or even some of the situations as an adult are things that are so off of what happens to everybody you know it's just i've gotten a chance to pictureize it and they're very relatable situations and there's a lot of relatable situations growing up of a immigrant family going to canada and being there and all the different things that they had to go through and live up to or um just normal things that happen except you know we don't always see it because when you see a film it's just it's heightened to the different level so we kept things as as real as possible okay uh, we have always <coughs> seen daniel being at your side in any which way you know so when you told him that i want to do this biopic or something like that what was his reaction uh, <laughs> well it was the other way around daniel came to me and said i really think that this would be amazing and people are really curious and I had a bunch of people in front of me um <laughs> telling me about, you know, what they wanted to do and my first reaction is I don't think that people are going to find my life interesting and or why would I want to go through that again, you know, and it's very very difficult. So, it was the other way around. Um and they convinced me, <laughs> but it's turned out for the better because I've gotten to make something that I am proud of you know I can't watch season 2 at all. I don't want to go through that again for a third time and watch it actually. Um but I think that it was a is a good decision if I was going to go down this route to do with Z5 and um the production house and everybody being able to write a story that's real. Okay, uh, it's season finale and you know you have done with your biopic. So you have also recollected many memories. So how will you describe your journey in a bollywood as in a what 
in Bollywood? Uh, how can you describe your journey? Oh, from when I from when I came here. Yeah. Oh, it's that it's a it's a crazy roller coaster. <laughs> um, it's a different type of uh, journey compared to one that you know when you grow up and you make certain decisions. Coming here has been the most amazing, and it's been scary at times, and crazy, and ridiculous, and um, amazing moments happen. I mean, I adopted you know Nisha, Daniel, and I adopted Nisha from here, and. I mean, there's so many amazing things that have happened since, you know, I've come. I think more good things than bad. Okay, in 2016, you did your Sing With Writer as, you know, an e-book with Speed Dream. So, do you have any plans to going back in the writing? No, I have no plans to go back to writing. That's very difficult. Hats off to writers because you guys are amazing. Okay, so you have seen your, uh, the industry very closely. Uh, you have dealt with the barrage and you have also gone with the criticism. What advice would you like to give Nisha if any uh, time she wants to get into Bollywood? First, she'd have to convince me that she'd want to do it. And I wouldn't let an underage child get into the entertainment industry unless she begged and begged and begged me. Um, because I do believe that children should be children. Unless that is, you know, like there's certain kids out there that that is their path. That's what they were born to do and they're amazing at it. Um, I have no idea what Nisha's path is going to be and what she's going to do or how she's, how she's going to be as a teenager or even as a 10-year-old. I have no idea. Um, so I'll only be able to answer that when she gets older what I do right now I'm saying no 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 I want her to just be a child and enjoy life um, you know so we'll see okay, it's not so my life it's her life she's gonna make her own decision okay Sunny being a mother what changes have you uh, got after being a parent in your oh life? it's absolutely amazing it's the best um, time period of my life ever it you know every time I wake up and I see my children it's the best feeling. I mean, this morning Nisha was feeding the boys and it was the most precious thing I've ever seen. Um, and I'm sitting there videotaping. I'm like, everybody back up, let her do her thing. <laughs> so uh, it's it's really just so amazing to watch um, all three of them. Okay, you know, uh, being an artist, you know, it is very difficult to give the time to your children. So do you remove some time for your children? Or Absolutely. I both Daniel and I really wanted to be parents for a very long time. So we spend so much time with our kids and I feel like we've been blessed. Even though we're working and we're working very hard, we've done a great job in our time management to make sure that we are there during their waking hours. If they're sleeping or napping, we're trying to finish our work or get as much done as possible. And if I'm on long shooting schedules, um, I bring the boys with me and then Nisha will come on the weekend. So we do spend a really great amount of time with our kids. Okay, besides Bollywood, you know, your perfume brand Bless is also soaring high. So how do you stumble upon the idea of launching the perfume brand? Uh, well, I launched uh, last many, it was a few years ago and it's done very, very well. And uh, last year we launched Star Starstruck, which is my cosmetic line. Uh, we're one years old, so happy birthday to us. Um, <laughs> we're all very excited, it's all done very well. The one thing I tell young people all the time is that this is a country where if you have an idea, you have a dream, I, it's possible. You can make your dreams come true here. It's one of the most emerging, fastest growing industries and markets in the world right now. So if there's young people who have a great idea, go for it and stop thinking about it because it's it's awesome. Okay, so you're also doing a nebula in Malayalam industry. So how, how was that experience for you? Uh, it's been great so far. I've only shot one small schedule and we're going to start shooting again um, very soon. But everything has been amazing. I think that if I can work and make films and just keep working and having fun doing it, then I'm the happiest, I'm the happiest woman ever. Okay, was it difficult for you when you talk about the language? I think that with language, um, with the right training and the right people around you, that 
you can learn anything you want if you really want to. Mm -hmm. So, so far it's been okay. <laughs> okay, so any Bollywood upcoming project you would like to share with us? Yeah, my, our production house um, is going to be launching its first film, um, shooting it this year, so we're all very excited. Would like to share uh, uh, share something about this film? <laughs> I'm not allowed to because there's this guy he's standing right there, staring at me, going, "Don't you dare say anything, Sunny." Um, <laughs> uh, we're all really excited. It's a it's a story that I've been working. You know, we've all been working on for the last uh, I think it's been a year or a year and a half, and um, it's all coming full circle. Um, so we're all really excited. Okay, uh, Sunny. Lastly. Uh before going, you know, I would also like to ask you any kind of role which you're looking for and you would like love to do it. I think for me, it's all about the content and the story at this point in my life. Um, I've made decisions based on various different things and a lot of those decisions didn't work out so great. Um, so for me it's all about is it a good story does it make sense to me because if it doesn't make sense to me then why am i going to shoot it um there's so many different stories i read all the time and i think i just don't get it i don't understand where is the logic in some of this but you know that's why i read everything because every so often you read a story and you're like wow that's amazing um we should definitely pursue this forward so it's it's all about what story is presented in front of me. It's just based on what I like. That's all. Thank you so much. You're Sunny. welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.